Welcome back to Hook to Hunt. In this episode, we're gonna go over making a water hole, fixing a licking branch and scrape, and exactly how to set both those up. I'm here at one of my deer stand locations here in uh, the western side of Illinois, and it is prime time, it is August, so a lot of people don't get the deer itch you know till later on to start doing their preparations but the truth is uh, this is a good time why is it a good time it's far enough ahead of time where your scent will be out of the woods and not impacting and pressuring those deer when it comes to deer season so um and then uh another reason why i'm out here more specifically today is because we have storms rolling in and it's gonna wash my scent right out of here and hopefully fill up this uh these half barrels here that I'm going to be digging in and burying. Now, there's a bunch of other ways to to do little watering holes. This one's kind of an easy, smaller one. Uh, a little bit easier to put in the woods where there's a lot of roots and stuff. Uh, but you can go a lot bigger than that. I don't really think it's necessary in here because I think we get enough rain. And uh, I think they will hold water throughout the year. So that's what I'm choosing to use mainly because I don't want to dig a huge hole and I don't think I need it all right here comes the fun part in the heat and humidity the digging definitely hot and humid and a pain in the butt when it's the middle of summer but I'm telling you you're way better off doing it this at this time than uh, close to the deer season because mature bucks if they feel any pressure at all they won't be in there unless the deer density is that crazy you might be able to bring them back in but um not a good idea so much safer doing it in the summer like i said it's a perfect time to be doing this right now even more so because we have rain coming in tonight it's going to start here probably about two three o'clock it's going to go all the way in tomorrow and wash my scent completely out of here um as far as the ultimate deer attraction that's cheap will stay good for a long period of time you guys already seen this and i already mentioned that uh last year a buck broke my licking branch you can see that i took about a one and a half inch thick um vine and hung up there and i got paracord going from one side all the way to the other so I come in with my climbing stick. I'll put this on two trees, usually in a cross path where you get deer trails that are crossing is a good spot. Um, and I got it on the corner of a property here. Back corner edge, corner of a, a field that's out here. And you can see that I'm re-clearing these trails. August is a good time because the weed growth is pretty much done and if you chop down and clear the trails oh, they usually will just continue to get better as you go into deer season and deer traveling on them so um, but corner of field another back timber property that's uh, not owned by the owner that I can hunt on um, and then I got a trail going all the way across the other way I'll be replacing this licking branch right here so this one was about eight foot long, you know, I mean, eight to 10 feet. If you're going to probably do one like this, where it's just tied between two trees with uh, paracord. But if you're going to do one off a branch, another tree limb and just hang it down, you don't need one that long. Um, but I didn't have one on this spot. This will work perfectly fine. Bucks use it all the time. Like I said, you can tell one snapped it. Um, scrape down below. I uh, created this scrape probably about four or five years ago and they continue to use it, but I freshen it up every year. Uh, scent activated. People wonder if you can pee in the scrape. You absolutely can. I showed that on another video. I had tons of bucks in there right afterwards. Um, that The moisture in the water will reactivate all the other scent in there. And after a day or so, they're not gonna be able to tell that it was human or who it was. So, but there's a scrape. I just kind of dug it up, freshened it up a little bit cleared the path going out to the other property so this is accessible and be able to see my tree stand here 
all the way up there. I am probably, I don't know, at least 25 feet high in the air. Um, lots of timber in the backdrop. You need back cover if you do not want to be busted. And that stand is probably, I don't know, 25, 30 yards away. I prefer to have my stands farther away when I'm bow hunting. I practice at 75 yards, so a 30, 30 yard shots all day, all day. Unless they duck your arrow. If they duck your arrow, like having me one year, well, you'll have that. So I'm gonna go find another vine to replace this with and I'm gonna get it started and I'll talk about some other secrets I got. All right, so besides uh, doing the scrape, I've mentioned that we're gonna be putting a water hole in. I'm um, using two half barrels that uh, I showed you before. And here is the hole. Now, did a good job with this hole. Uh, dug it deeper than what the barrels are at. So we can actually angle this down as we fill it in with dirt. So as it rains, it more washes down into the barrels and collects even more water. Um, I'll probably in the long run put rock around it and put rock and leaves in the bottom of this to make it look a little bit more natural. And uh, we'll be doing that here in a bit. I don't bring enough water with me to fill this all the way up, but I'll get, be able to get some water in it today. So, and then hopefully all this rain that we're gonna get over tonight will uh, help out as well, get this thing rolling. So, um, well that's where we're at with the watering hole. And again, got a shooting lane down, to, down from my tree stand. And this is the other part of that path. Now this runs along the edge of this property all the way to the other corner. And there's a bean field on the other side that they just planted. Uh, they planted a little late, um, but that'll be perfect because it'll be some late fall rut food. And this uh, should be pretty, pretty solid overall. I got another stand over in the other corner as well. Game of edges when you're setting up tree stands. You need to pick something out that's different than everywhere else in the timber to make sure it's high probability. So you got funnels, you got corners of different property. Corners of different property means you have different types of land usually. Uh, whether it's, uh, like I said, cornfields, bean fields, um, different type of uh, different greens and things and everything. So uh, that's why the corners are popular um, for deer movement. So, all right, I'm gonna get back after. I gotta find that vine for that licking branch. Yeah. All right, so found a pretty good um vine and i'd say i'm six foot tall so this is probably close to eight foot uh inch and a half thick i almost went with a different one but it wasn't very straight it wasn't even close to this straight and what you'll have is it'll spin all weird and stuff when the deer try to rub their their eye glands and stuff on it and their scent on it so um i'm gonna notch this out here real quick what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a cut going that way and then you're gonna bring it back up like that. You'll probably go a little deeper. I don't wanna go too deep to weaken the branch to where this might break off where I tie it. I'll put a notch on that side. I'll put a notch on this side. Doesn't have to be that deep. Like I said, you don't want it to break your branch. Especially when bucks start banging on it. All right. All right, so. Got the one that broke off right here. Um, I'm gonna replace that one with this one. I gotta get up there, untie the paracord off the tree, bring it down. I got my climbing stick that I'll strap on there to do it with. And then I'll tie it back up again and uh, go from there. So that's the next step. All right, got the edges all filled in around the watering hole. Um, looks pretty good, downward slope towards the water hole. So that should be good. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw some branches or weeds and stuff around the edges here. To make it look a little bit more natural, I'm gonna throw some leaves and different things inside this as well. Um, just so there's some greenage on the bottom here. As far as the licking branch goes, here it is. So here's the scrape. Licking branch hangs right down over the scrape. I uh, don't know how well you can see that. I got that line going. I actually got it even higher up in the air. So 
this licking branch I put in was a little higher than my last one uh, the higher the better especially if you're going off a line and even nicer if you have some greenage like I got some vines and different things hanging up there um, that kind of goes right there you could even wrap that around that line to make it look even more natural so this is pretty good so I told you I was gonna provide you with another little secret here um, I don't believe in a lot of different products you know I mean there's a lot of hype with different scents and different things like that uh, but I did try and I'll try different things from time to time but I did try this black widow branch butter and I tried that the last couple years and I tried some pure whitetail stuff before too and uh, some of their stuff you know I think this works but uh, there was like this purple magic dust that was supposed to be for for licking branches or whatever and it was terrible like deer didn't even touch it so and I think they discontinued that so explains why but this uh, black widow branch butter I'll link this in the description below. I think you can get it right on Amazon. I think that's where I got it at. Um, you're gonna put this on the bottom of this branch. Whatever you do, do not touch the end of this branch when you're starting one. So this end, I have not physically touched. Well, that end, I have. So, oh, this shit stinks. I don't know how good this is and how well it maintains from previous years, but man, she's ripe. So I'm going to drip this on this branch, let it run down, and I got quite a bit on here. I don't know how good this stuff stays for, so that's probably, that's probably good enough. But yeah, just let that run down all the way, and that that's going to put some serious deer scent. It's going to drip down into uh, the pit here, or the scrape. And this scrape, you see it's cleared out, scraped up. It's on the cross path right next to the watering hole. Normally I wouldn't put the scrape that close to a watering hole, but this is a pretty small piece of property, or I should say the part of the property that I'm hunting because the rest of it has a lot of human pressure on it, uh, is just this back area. So the watering hole is going right next to my scrape and the stand. Otherwise I probably would have spread it out and uh, would have had one more stand in here on the water hole, one on the scrape, and then I got a, another scrape and licking branch on, on the other side um, over there. So, but uh, it's time to mark my territory. I know what they like. One other very important step that you have to do if you do a watering hole, otherwise you'll pay for it, you'll ruin it. You gotta put sticks or logs coming out of the watering hole. Otherwise it'll get real scuzzy real quick on you. So what will happen if you do not have those in there, you'll get mice and other critters coming in. They'll fall in there, the barrel slick, or the pool slick or the tub slick and they won't be able to get out. And they'll start decomposing in that watering hole and it'll become pretty toxic so uh, put sticks in there so the critters can crawl out bigger the watering hole probably the bigger the the stick or the log um, because obviously bigger critters can get stuck so but uh, i'm gonna get some water in there now So I only had a couple buckets of water. Um, so that's as much as I have right now. I'm gonna probably cover this other side with a bunch of brush and stuff, just so it doesn't look so not natural. And since it's not holding water quite yet, there's no point. But I'll have to come back at a later date with a bunch of buckets of water right before it rains. So my scent washes back out of here and uh, fill these up the rest of the way. Now it's time for me to climb up there and make sure my stand's all good and secure for this year. If you do find this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you like this content, it does take a lot of work. Editing takes a lot of time. This is play time, but the editing is not. So if you like it, give us a thumbs up, help us out, and uh, hopefully keep on making content that helps you guys out. All right, later.
Yeah, oh my Lord, watch me sway Darkness falls and we all pray Hoping for the light of day Down to the river 